Welcome to the Torrentless Podcast with John Stevens from the Dead Daisies. I am Dando. Now, before we get into things, I'd just like to ask you all a couple of favors. Since this show is run completely voluntarily, can you please, A, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash torrentthis, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Torrent This TV. Would really appreciate the support, guys. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the Torrent This Podcast with the Dead Daisies. It's the Torrent This Podcast. I am Dando, and now I'm lucky to be joined on the line by a man who has pretty much done it all in the Aussie rock business. Not only has he fronted bands like Noiseworks and In Excess, but his new band, they've been conquering the world. They plan to release their new album in Australia on February 7th, and we'll be playing a show in Melbourne at the Esprit on February 16th. They are the Dead Daisies, and I'm lucky to be joined by none other than Mr. John Stevens. How are we, sir? I'm good, mate. How are you going? I'm... I'm... Call me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, dude. I... I'm always good. How's, how's your day been? It's really good today, man. I... I got home a couple of days ago from overseas, and... Yeah. I've been down the beach, of, you know, it's, I'm at the pub actually having a beer right now. Oh, I wish I was doing <laughs> that right now. <laughs> how, how was it over there? Was it hotter over there or here? Well, certainly in the UK it wasn't, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we just, we just finished up in, in Dubai. It was about some similar temperature, but uh, it's just great to be home and, and I'm really, really excited to be, uh, you know, bringing the band back and doing a whole lot of shows around Australia. Mm. You know, the Dead Daisy, so... Uh, yeah, you know, the album's out on uh, February 7th, and, uh, you know, you can check it out on the website, deaddaisies.com, and, you know, it's uh, sort of been playing all around the world the, the last six months, and um, sort of, uh, it's, just, it's, it's just great to be coming home with the band. You must be having more fun now than you've had in years. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, you know, doing what you love is, you know, it's a real blessing, it really is, yeah. and, uh, you know, I've been blessed to be, you know, have found what I've, what I've loved to do, you know, since I was young. So, you know, different incarnations, different things. Music excites me. You know, the, the Dead Days is a brand new project with new music. It's all new music. You know, I won't be playing Noiseworks songs or John Stevens songs. <laughs> it's like, you know, Dead, Dead, Dead Daisy songs, which, yeah. you know, I've written anyway. But, uh, and, you know, it's an exciting band. There's some amazing players in it from, uh, you know, different bands that, uh, you know, friends of mine over the years and, you know, a couple of, couple of flats from Guns N' Roses and, yeah. you know, that's Ben Lizzy and, I mean, you know, just, just you know, musicians, dudes, you know. Um, um, it's cool. It must, it must be awesome oh. just having people like of that calibre just at your fingertips to just come join a band with you. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. But I think, you know, the attraction is, you know, obviously, you know, we're all, all road dogs, but uh, <laughs> the attraction, is, the attraction is, is the fact that, you know, it's new music. Yeah, yeah. You know, but, it's fresh and it's new, and uh, you know we're not we're not playing old shit. We're we're doing new shit, and uh, everyone's a part of that. Everyone feels a part of that. Everyone, and you know, I want everyone to feel a part of it. And, and uh, you know, it's like it's, you know, it's a new band, so uh, it's a new vibe. It must be great, like going to gigs and not having people want to hear noise work songs. You know, you know, I think that sort of you know once once people see the band, I mean, certainly in Australia here, once you know, it'll just be you know they're just there for what what it is, you know, they really want to yep. hear the old stuff, <laughs> they want to play it. No, you know, I'll do that, I'll play the Noiseworks stuff with Noiseworks, you know, later on during the year, when, yep. when we do some shows, but, you know, the Dead Days is just, uh, just uh, you completely know, different, yeah. just a new thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's still rock, it's rock, you know, yep. guitars and drums and bass and real. They're having you know? fun. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it right. must be keen to, um, to get the Aussie shows, I saw that you got um, King of the North playing on South Australian shows, they're awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, we're really excited to have a great, uh, great band like that supporting us, and uh, you know, this is where you, this is how you learn and you know fine tune your stuff, you know, by just you know having having great bands with you and and uh, you know just uh, you know being good to each other. And I saw that um, Higgsy's really keen to meet one of you guys. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Tempest. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, yeah, yes, because when Johnny played with Johnny Holmbeck years ago. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, he, he was there and spent all his money flying down to see them. And uh, so, yeah, you know, he's, yeah, it's, it's, you know, we're, look, you know, I'm a big fan of the guys I play with as well, you know what I mean? So it's all a, kind of like a mutual admiration society, uh, you know, but it's a, I think the rock scene's you know, like that anyway. His respect. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's so many uh, amazing Australian musicians I, I love and respect, you know, and, you know, people from all around the world have been around a long time and travelled the world and you meet, you know, you know, the good the prerequisites for the dead days is you know, gotta be a good bloke. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. Just, you know, gotta hang out together. But uh, you know, the musicianship and the and the uh, and the experience, you know, goes without saying. Mm. Um, and because, you know, everyone, you know, knows how to deliver on any given night, it's just all or nothing, you know. And I'm certainly 
as a front man, you know, people certainly in Australia know me for that. Yeah. You know, I'm all or nothing, you know, so he's no halfway with me. Uh, and that's the same with everyone that I'm playing with, you know. I thought you were it's... apparently louder than Axel Rose. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know about I don't know about that, but you know, everyone thinks differently. It's <laughs> kind of interesting, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know. Yeah. You know, he's he's a he's a he's, a, he's an amazing singer. He's an incredibly unique singer, and there's only one Axel Rose. So. You know, actually, there's only one John Stevens. I mean, there's only one there's only, you know, there's only, you know, if you can yeah. coin your sound, then that's what, you're, what it is, you know. Yeah. Well, as we said, the, um, the album comes out Feb 7th. Is the, um, is the songwriting yeah. process still really easy for you guys? I don't think anything is ever easy. You know, you got to work at it and you got to, you know, uh, commit to it. But songwriting is a, a funny thing, you know. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a very instinctive songwriter. I'm really, you know... Uh, I don't, you know, I can't even tell you how it, how it happens or where it comes from. It's kind of a feeling, and it's moments in time, and you know, and it's emotional, and it's you know, it's fun, and it's this and it's that. And but you know, I never sit down and go, oh, I'm going to write a song about this today. <laughs> you know, that to me is contrived. You know, I, I kind of, I can't. I, I like I like songs that you know mean something to me because I got to sing them, and uh, you know, I can't write. I can't write a love song if I'm freaking not in love. You know what I, mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't write a hate song if I don't hate them. But, you know, yeah, yeah. Or not, you know. So it's got to have some substance, substance in it yeah. for me to uh, for me to you know connect with it. And so I'm writing it. So I'm actually the hardest taskmaster of all on myself. Yeah. You know? Big, biggest critic. Yes. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, because you know you, it, it needs to feel right. But I, you know, eventually you get there when you you put the sum of the parts together. Um, you know, the Daisies have you know, written a bunch of new songs we can play on the show, which you know, we did a, a recorded up in uh, New York and Los Angeles. And, and you know, it's the first time we've sort of written as, as, a, as a band, per se. All the other stuff was sort of written by myself and David Lowy, yeah. uh, my songwriting partner from, from Sydney here. So, you know, it's been an interesting exercise. And it's been really good because the songs come out great. So, you know, it's just a continual development of um, you know, the band, the progress. Hmm. Have you have you ever written a song and thought it was amazing, and then the next day you're like, "Fuck, this is shit." <laughs> I never think anything's amazing. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, no, because you know you can't think like that. You know, you know, you think like, "Okay, it's good." You know, I get it. It's you know, it's working for me. Yeah. You know, you can't think it's amazing because what you think is amazing is you know, you know, it should be shit to someone else. But I don't <laughs> write songs for other people. I write songs for me. Yeah, yeah. Because if you know, if I like it, then you know, I think I figure somebody else might like it. But you know. For me, it's always about life. It's always about you know being able to transfer the energy of a song on a on a stage in a live environment. Yeah. Because you know coming coming from the the, you know, the pub days where I learnt you know uh, you know my my craft, it was all about that transference of energy. So you know the songs for me always have to work in the live environment. Otherwise, I don't play. It. You know I might record some that I don't play in the live environment, but majority nineteen. Five percent of them have to work in the live environment, mm-hmm. otherwise they don't get it. Well, you're playing live at the SB February sixteenth. Well, what are your thoughts on like the pub rock scene today compared to like twenty years ago? <laughs> uh, well, the Gershwin Room is a great room. The SB, God bless the SB, is still there, it's still rocking. It's still you know a great uh, hub of uh, rock and roll activity, and uh, you know I hope it doesn't go the way of uh, you know many many others. Yeah. Venues, uh, I just really, really hope it, it stays there, stays the same. So, you know, really excited to be playing there. I think uh, certainly compared to 20 years ago, um, you know, he, you know geeks, geeks come and go. It's our businesses, so if they you know, can't sustain, they can't sustain. Music has changed so much, you know. Uh, you know, music today is, there's a lot more music around. There's a lot of technology around, um, you know, Back in you know, the 80s, it was all about live music. The technology wasn't really that involved. Now it's all about technology. I don't really know what's real anymore when I listen to the radio. I hear so much you know, auto-tune on everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, just so much, so much technology. And there's, don't get me wrong, there's a place for all that. And it's, you know, it's a great genre. There's different genres which are great. But, you know, I mean, I'm a musician. Uh, I don't like it when I see DJs being called musicians. That gives me this shit. <laughs> It really gives me the shifts, you know, but, uh, you know, because anybody can push play. Yeah. But, uh, so, you know, so, so uh, you know, but there's something for everybody. You know, music is, 
know, everyone's got an expression and, you know, whether you pick up a computer and, you know, use Pro Tools or, you know, use GarageBand and put something together and it's still creativity. So, you know, I'm all for creativity. You know, you pick up a guitar or any instrument and play something and it comes out of you, then that's creativity. I'm all for that, you know. Yeah. It's just brings and roundabouts. What do you have to say to the people? I read an article online last night that say that rock is dead these days and it's going to slowly die even more. <laughs> rock is dead. Yeah. We're all dead. <laughs> We're all dead. You know? <laughs> it's, 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 uh, you know, everything's dead. We're just here to you know, live and die. That's what we're here for. Yeah, yeah. Procreate and do the thing and do your best you can and survive. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, in the arts, you know, it's that, you know, about giving people a different expression and giving them something else, you know, other than their, you know, their exciting lives or their dreary lives, you know, it's all about, you know, rock is dead, I don't, I don't know, man, we're all dead, that's what I say. Yeah. Do, do you guys, <laughs> do, do you guys hate being called a super group? Uh, well, you know, some people have termed that quite, use that phrase, but, I, you know, it's, it's not really appropriate, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. because, you know, we're, we're not, we're not put together you know, as a bunch of musicians, you know, to play our hit songs. Yeah. We're actually a band that's, you know, writing new material, recording new material, and going out there as a new entity, mm -hmm. uh, just like any garage band that wants to start out. I mean, obviously, with the pedigree in the band, the history, the experience, you know, it, that, that work this band is about, but we're actually, we're just like a young garage band who start out. We're actually, we're ex that excited about it. Like, you know, like, you know, young kids, really, because, you know, we all have that history that, uh, you know, working with, you know, big act, big, big name acts, I suppose. Yeah. But, you know, it's a big deal. That's not, you know, so what? Yeah. So, um, is there anything else to do before we let you go? As we said, February 16th, playing at the ESPY. Is there any memories of the ESPY that you have of playing there? <laughs> There's a few memories that I don't have. <laughs> okay. I've been there a few times over the years. <laughs> uh, oh, man, I, I, shit, I, you know, always, always had a great time there. My crew, you know, my Melbourne crew, you know, my, my uh, Tony Cooper, Big Robbie when he was on the door down there, you know, all, <laughs> that, all, the, all the bros, you know. Yeah. And I had a, I've always had a great time down there. And uh, as I said, the Gershwin Room is one of the best rooms in the country and, you know, the sun bar, I played the sun bar a few times, just, just you know, solo and uh, rocking, you know, yeah. It's a rock and roll crowd, it's a fun night out, you know. Great People place. music, you know, great place. Don't fucking knock it down, whatever you do. Yeah, no, exactly right, right, yeah. Anyway, man, it's just, <laughs> well, just before I let you go, is there anything else you'd like to mention to the listeners? Hey, man, you know, go to the website, check it out. If you like it, come down to the if you don't, whatever. Just do what you, you know. like. <laughs> We all do anyway. Yeah, that's it. Make sure you get a copy of the Dead Daisies new album once it's released in Australia, February 7th. You can pre-order it now on iTunes. Check them out at the SB, as we said, in Melbourne on February 16th. And for the latest news and info, you can like them on Facebook, facebook.com slash the Dead Daisies. Once again, John, it's been a pleasure, mate, and uh, good luck with the gig, man. Likewise, mate, and thanks very much. Cheers, bro. No worries. Catch you later. All right, mate. Ciao.